Brent, got a question for you. What's that? What flies faster than a speeding bullet? No idea. Late McQueenie rumors. <laughs> Hey, welcome to another edition of Doc Talk. Frank Baker, Hunter Crone with the Lakefront Group. Here we are on Lake McQueenie, and damn it, we're here again. <laughs> Today we're gonna to talk about the updates for Lake McQueenie. We're hearing everything from five years to it's never gonna be rebuilt. Well, it's obvious it's being rebuilt. And according to the WCID, we're looking at about 17 months, right, for Lake McQueenie? Yeah. For yeah. the damn mid, mid September of 25. We've even heard people on one of the streets here on Lake McQueenie sold their houses thinking that the lake was never coming back. Yeah, or and, a five year build or something like that. We didn't represent any of them, but I knew people that knew them. And I'm like, look, look at Dunlap. That's the same project. This, the Dunlap Dam is three bays, 80 foot wide and so is the McQueenie Dam. They were built at the same time. They're pretty much the same design. So Dunlap Dam right. was done in relatively the allotted time frame. They had a few delays and they've already had a few delays. The, mm -hmm. the mid-September is, is the most updated date with the delays in mind. Right, right. And well, it, and we can squash the rumor that it's never coming back because there's beeping tractors and dozers behind us and cranes. So yeah. obviously there's construction going on. So. Let's squash that rumor. Now, the, the mid-September 2025 is the latest update on the completion. So, put that one to bed. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's the biggest thing, rumor mill. But also, get your projects done. You know, get out there, and if you have uh, some things that need to be removed that are might be hazards for your boat, you know, th this is the time to do it. You never will ever get an opportunity, I believe, in your lifetime to have a lake bed exposed like this so exactly. any projects even even new docks a lot of stuff is easier when the lake's down for sure and don't don't put off burning your piles i'm looking at a couple <laughs> of piles out here right now um, if you recall lake dunlap just filled back up last year well we were under a burn ban and everyone had burn piles out in the lake bed and we went under a burn ban so we couldn't burn the piles and then the lake fills up and of course, all that debris is floating around in Lake Dunlap. I mean, trunks and two by sixes with nails and everything sticking out of it, dangerous stuff. That's a, that's a really good point. Both of us live on Lake Dunlap and, and uh, yeah, don't wait, don't wait. Especially yeah. September, you might, we might have a dry summer right. and we might still be in a burn ban. So take care of those burn piles. It's wet right now, so burn now. I mean, we're not in a ban, so now's yeah. the time to do it, so. On to the specifics for this dam. Last update that the WCID put out was in mid-March. We're sitting here almost mid-April. Mm -hmm. um, and they were preparing for removal of the, the Bay 1, uh, which was the last gate to be removed. And if you look behind us, it looks to be completely gone. That's exciting. If you recall or been on McQueenie prior to the lake being drained, you'll recall that the lake was down like 18 inches. The reason being is when the Dunlap Dam failed, it was the front hinges that broke and nobody ever thought that that would happen. They were currently working on the McQueenie Dam, not on the front hinges, on something else inside of the dam. They had everything set up. So as soon as the Dunlap Dam broke, oh, that stopped. they stopped. They would not let anybody in there. So the scaffolding, all the materials, everything that workers left in there, from my understanding, stayed in there. They mm -hmm. wouldn't let anybody inside of that dam anymore because again, it was a sunny day when the Dunlap Dam failed and the hinges broke and the entire structure flipped over. So it was so, dangerous and it, and it was there for two or three years until they started construction. Exactly. Years, so yeah. they what they did is they locked it in place where it was, which was 18 inches low, which is why the lake could never was, fill right. fully up. But once the new dam is in place, the lake level can be adjusted by, I mean, 0.1 inch. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, it is hydraulically controlled. The old gate system was a design from the 1800s. We built in the early 1900s, but the design was, it was like valves. You open a valve and it lets water in a bear trap system, which picks the gates up. Well, 
the calculation wasn't exactly down to a science. So somebody would open the valve to try to raise the gate up six inches and it would do 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 and it go up like a foot and a half and then they'd release some water and then yeah. it dropped get two it back feet. Down. Yeah. So getting it actually accurate, I was talking to one of my neighbors on Lake Dunlap um, and he was like, is the lake level the right level that where it's supposed to be? Because people are saying, oh, it seems higher. Well, the old dam really had a hard time staying at the full level. Mm -hmm. Its sweet spot, I guess its groove was right around four to six inches low. Well, do you want to talk about kind of the design of what the new dam is going to look like as compared to the old? Absolutely. So the old dam is again, late 1800s design It's called a bear trap. Um, again, it was, it's a kind of a teepee. And so they'd let water in and it would pick up the teepee. Um, but with that design, the load for the, for the dam structure, not the gates, is on the bottom. What they're switching to is a hydraulic crest and it's gates that are lowered and raised by hydraulic arms at the top of pylons. So now that load is switched from the bottom to the top. The reason they're having to do so much excavation and put anchors and a ton of concrete in there is to hold the dam structure. Okay. The whole, I'm not cussing, the whole dam structure uh, from toppling over. They felt if, it, you know, a, a bottom design switching to a top design that the entire dam structure could fold over, not just the gates, right, but right. the whole structure. So they needed to add extra support to prevent the dam structure from falling over. Did they know that going into it when it was being engineered? Absolutely. Okay, all right. Absolutely. Um, okay. One of the things they didn't know is how deep it would take to get to the uh, bedrock. Okay. Um, the middle gate on Dunlap, they, they had some delays on that one because it was a lot deeper than what they thought. Okay. Um, but if you read the latest update from March, mm -hmm. they dug down, I think it's like 502, don't hold me to it, um, where the lake level currently is at like 513. So they want to get down to the bedrock and then backfill that with a bunch of concrete, I okay. believe. And a lot of this information that Hunter and I are going through is um, on the Lake McQueenie WCID website. So if you just Google that, uh, you can see all the things that we're looking at. March 15th, I think, was the latest update. Yeah. So, um, and there will be more updates to come, so you can follow it on there. But Absolutely. But it's fun to be actually get out here and, and watch them working and see. I mean, the heck, that's less than a month from the last update, and they've already got one of the gates removed. Right. So they are moving and a-grooving, and Lake McQueenie is coming back. So barring any flood events, we should be looking around 17 months is what they're estimating. So um, hopefully they stick to that and uh, 2025. It's right around the corner. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Doc Talk. And if you have any comments or questions, note them below and we'll get back to you. But go out there and make it a great day. <laughs>